You are listening to KSG Podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about UN's prestigious public service award. Source for the content is Indian Express. MoBus, the bus service of Odisha's Capital Region Urban Transport, that is CRUT, authority has been recognized by the United Nations as one of 10 global recipients of its annual public service awards for 2022. It was reported on the 22nd of June. The public transport service has been recognized for its role in promoting gender-responsive public services to achieve the SDGs, that is Sustainable Development Goals, the UN said. Among the other winners of this year's awards, Announced by Liu Zhenmin, United Nations Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs, during a virtual event to commemorate the United Nations Public Service Day, were public service initiatives from Thailand, Brazil, Canada, Ireland, Panama, the Philippines, Poland, Saudi Arabia, and Ukraine. Now, talking about recognition for Odisha. The UN recognition said the problem was that bus services in the city of Bhuvaneshwar needed improvement as a result of which the majority of people used private vehicles, two-wheelers and auto rickshaw to commute instead of taking public transportation. As the solution, the Odisha government in 2018 reorganized the public transit services in the city to provide an integrated, reliable and inclusive public bus service system. More bus The UN noted has incorporated real-time technologies like live tracking, travel planner and e-ticketing and an e-rickshaw system called MoE-Ride has been introduced as a last-mile feeder service. The impact is that 57% of the city's commuters now use the Mo bus, the UN said. Mo E-Ride is estimated to reduce pollution by 30 to 50%. Also, 40% of Mo bus conductors are women and 100% of Mo E-Ride drivers are women, transgender people and people from disadvantaged communities, the UN noted. Now, talking about the Mo bus service... According to the CRUT website, the MOBA service was launched on the 6th of November 2018 to ensure transformation of the urban public transport scenario in the city and its hinterland through use of smart technology, service benchmarking and customer satisfaction. CRUT plans to introduce 289 buses in three phases with the induction of 200 new buses and refurbishment of 89 old buses, the website says. The service is proposed to be extended to Katak soon, it says. The buses are designed to integrate smart technology such as free onboard Wi-Fi service, digital announcements, surveillance cameras and electronic ticketing. Krat says that to increase women's participation in the workforce and to make women riders feel safer, it is committed to ensuring that 50% of more bus guides or conductors are women. Air-conditioned more bus fares start at 5 rupees and go up to 70 rupees. Non-AC fares are from 5 to 55 rupees. Talking about other honours conferred to MOBAS, in 2019, the Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs conferred a uh, special award on CRUT, the Bhuvaneshwar City Bus Modernization Project, popularly known as the MOBAS Service. The citation, awarded during the 12th uh, Urban Mobility India Conference Come Expo 2019 in Lucknow, read, and I quote, The project is a boost to people's confidence in the use of affordable intra-city services, offering the potential to relieve congestion and timely mobility to commuters. The project is a boost to people's confidence in the use of affordable intra-city services, offering the potential to relieve congestion and timely mobility to commuters, unquote. In 2020, the MOHUA conferred the 13th Urban Mobility India Award on CRUT for innovations undertaken in urban transport during COVID-19 and in 2021. The 14th Urban Mobility India Award on Odisha as the state which had implemented the best urban transport projects during the previous year. Talking about the UN Public Service Award, the UN describes its public service awards as the most prestigious international recognition of excellence in public service. It is intended to reward the creative achievements and contributions of public service institutions that lead to a more effective and responsive public administration in countries worldwide. It says, through an annual competition, the UN Public Service Awards promotes the role, professionalism and visibility of public service. The UN Public Service Day celebrates the value and virtue of public service to the community, highlights its contribution in the development process, recognizes the work of public servants and encourages young people to pursue careers in the public sector. The first award ceremony was held in 2003 and the UN has since received an increasing number of submissions from all around the world. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ in your courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksjnia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjnia.com.